Now that we've downloaded the app, let's go ahead and open it from the open icon here. And this brings us to the intro of our app. Now, because we're gonna, gonna walk through this video together, I'm not gonna go through each of these sliders. I'm gonna go ahead and skip this since you and I are gonna go through this together. The first screen comes up and it's a push notification screen. I would go ahead and say, yes, we do wanna allow our push notifications to come through in case the hearing device is trying to send us any type of notification. So let's go ahead and allow that here. And notice now we have our screen that our aids are paired to the app and that we're ready to use the devices. So let's go ahead and go to continue. And this is your overall, think of this as your dashboard screen. So from the screen, I'll walk through each of the features so that way you can see how to best use the app and how it manipulates the hearing devices. So let's start with our remote control. And I think you'll find that this is the most obvious to use simply to turn up and down volume because that's what we associate with the remote control. So if you're looking to increase the volume of your hearing devices, you're gonna press the plus sign here. Same for the bottom button. If you need to turn down the hearing device, you're gonna press the minus sign. As you press it, as I increase here, notice we start climbing in our volume, you will hear sounds in your hearing devices letting you know that you're manipulating the device and that it's giving you an indication that that, that command is being accepted. So as I turn it back down, notice it comes down to zero. That zero does not mean that the device is muted by any means just because you're at zero or does it mean that we're not having any volume come through. It simply means that the hearing aid is almost at kind of like a, a midpoint at this in this way. So these are your preferred settings in a sense and you can still turn the devices down from this point. That zero is just indicating that you are using the prescribed settings for you that we have as your provider programmed into the devices. So to get back to that middle zero, we're gonna go ahead and increase the volume here. If for any reason you actually need to mute the hearing devices, you can, and that's where you're going to press this button here. Now I wouldn't leave your hearing devices muted for extended periods of time, because keep in mind this Bluetooth connection is still going, your hearing devices are still running, so even though it's muted, the aids of themselves are not turned off. So if that's what you're aiming to do, I would truly turn off the hearing devices. But if this is just for you know a few seconds, even a few minutes, then you could certainly leave them on mute. But just as a, a tip there, just to save your battery life. So let's go ahead and unmute the hearing aid. I'm gonna click this here. Now our microphones are back on. And then if you have additional programs, not just your main everyday universal program, this is how you're gonna access those programs. So P1 represents your first program. P2 obviously recommend or points to program two or that second program. So in this particular hearing, hearing device, I have that set up as speech and noise. So that's going to be for a restaurant environment, you know, noisy places, things along those lines. Now your hearing device behind the scenes here is functioning differently to help really maximize the speech clarity in a noisy situation, but you do still have the ability to adjust that volume. So again, volume up, volume down and mute. Now, if you had additional programs programmed into your hearing device, you would be able to access them at the top here. I'm gonna go ahead and select this hearing aid icon. Notice you saw that on your dashboard as well, but I'm gonna access it from this screen just because I think it's a little bit more natural. You're gonna spend the majority of your time in this remote control screen if you're using the app. So we'll select the hearing aid tab here. And I think this is a great tool to have because it shows you your Battery life shows you where you at, where you are with your battery. And then we see that we're connected. You see your, your green check marks here showing you that you're connected to each device. And then if something happens and you've actually lost your hearing devices, you've misplaced them, you can't find them, you can select find my hearing aids and it will actually walk you through the steps of locating your hearing devices on the map. So that way you can see where they were last connected to your phone and you can return to that place to get them. Same with troubleshooting, you can walk through the app there as well. Now keep in mind to get back to your main dashboard, you can hit the home button, but I'm gonna go back to the remote control button again, just because this is where we're gonna spend the majority of time making those changes if needed. So I'm gonna come back to my first program just because it's more designed for an everyday situation, hence why it's called universal. So. From here, we've really gone through the app and how to increase volume, decrease volume, and then from this point, you know, if you need to check battery power, anything like that, you can come to the bottom right button of the app here to go there.
If you have any additional questions on the app or the function of your hearing aids, please don't hesitate to contact the office and we're happy to walk you through that.